The PCFX is a 32-bit home video game console made by NEC Home Electronics. It was released in Japan on December 23, 1994, just weeks after Sony's PlayStation and a month after the Sega Saturn. It is the successor to the PC Engine, known as TURBOGRAFX-16 in North America. Unlike its predecessor, the PCFX was only released in Japan. The console is shaped like a tower PC and was meant to be similarly upgradable. However the PCFX lacked a 3D polygon-based graphics chip which rendered the system underpowered in comparison to its competitors. It was also expensive and lacked developer support, and as a result it was unable to compete effectively with its fifth-generation peers. The PCFX was NEC's last home video game console, and was discontinued in February 1998. History NEC launched the PCFX as the successor to its well-received fourth-generation system, the PC Engine. The PCFX was based on a 32-bit system architecture named Tetsujin, or Iron Man, developed in-house by NEC. NEC demonstrated Iron Man at a number of trade shows and events during 1992, and by the middle of the year were discussing an imminent release of an Iron Man-based video game system with many third-party developers. At the time, the earlier PC Engine was still quite popular in Japan, and opinions on the Iron Man technology were mixed. Many were uninterested in switching to more powerful hardware while the PC Engine market was still growing, and as a result NEC halted work on the Iron Man project, instead opting for more modifications to the PC Engine technology. When NEC decided to release the PCFX, the specs were relatively unchanged from the originally unveiled Iron Man architecture. The most significant difference was the addition of a new 32-bit V810 RISC CPU. The console was announced in late 1993. In a special Game Machine Cross review in May 1995, Famicom Sushin would score the PCFX console an 18 out of 40. Unusual for a fifth generation console, the PCFX does not have a polygon graphics processor. NEC's reasoning for this was that polygon processors of the time were relatively low powered, resulting in figures having a blocky appearance, and that it would be better for games to use pre rendered polygon graphics instead. The shining quality of the PCFX was the ability to decompress 30 JPEG pictures per second while playing digitally recorded audio, essentially a form of motion JPEG. This resulted in the PCFX having superior full motion video quality over all other fifth generation consoles. The system's target audience was roughly five years older than that of the PC Engine, in hopes that PC Engine fans would be brought over to the successor console. In an interview roughly a year before the system launch, a representative stated that though NEC had not entirely ruled out the possibility of a release outside Japan, they had concluded that unless additional non-gaming uses were developed for the PCFX, it would sell poorly in the USA due to its high price. NEC directed Hudson Soft, with whom they continued their partnership over the PC Engine, to develop only games based on popular anime franchises and using pre-rendered animated footage. Though this policy played to the hardware's strengths, it barred Hudson Soft from bringing successful PC Engine series such as Bomberman and Bonk to the PCFX. Unlike nearly any other console, except for the 3DO and CDI, the PCFX was also available as an internal PC card for NEC PC98 and at IBM PC compatibles. This PC card came with two CDs of software to help the user program games for the PCFX. However, compatibility issues prevented games developed with this software from actually running on the console. The PCFX was discontinued in early 1998. It sold only 400,000 units over its lifetime. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hardware. The PCFX uses CD-ROMs as its storage medium, following on from the expansion released for its predecessor, which originally used HA cards. The game controller is virtually identical to a Duo RX controller, but the rapid-fire switches have been replaced with Mode A, B switches. Peripherals include a PCFX mouse, which is supported by strategy games like Farland Story FX and Power Dolls FX. The PCFX's computer-like design was unusual for consoles at the time. 
It stands upright like a tower computer while other contemporary consoles lay flat. Another interesting feature is its three expansion ports. Also, similar to the 3DO, it featured a built-in power supply. The PCFX includes an HU62 series 32-bit system board, an LSI chip, and a 32-bit V810 RISC CPU. The system can display 16.77 million colors the same amount as the PlayStation. Topic. Software There were 62 games released for the system. The launch titles were Graduation 2, Neo Generation FX, Battle Heat and Team Innocent on December 23, 1994 and the final game released was First Kiss Story on April 24, 1998. The system and all titles were only released in Japan. A number of demo discs were also released with publications which allowed the user to play the disc in a CD-equipped PC engine or the PCFX. There was no copy protection on any of the PCFX games, because at the time the system was released, the high price of CDR drives made piracy expensive. The system has a reputation for having a higher percentage of adults-only video games than other home consoles, in part thanks to its small library of games. Topic. Technical specifications CPU 32-bit NEC V810 RISC running at 21.5 MHz, 15.5 MIPS CD-ROM drive 2x CD-ROM, 300 KB, SEC Memory 2 MB main RAM 1 MB shared RAM for background generators, CD-ROM DMA, motion decoder, and ADPCM 256 KB dedicated VRAM for HUC 6270 chips 1 MB OS-ROM 256 KB CD buffer 32 KB backup RAM Video Internal color format, digitized YUV not YCBCR Maximum on-screen colors, 16,777,216 24-bit color, 8 bits per channel Resolutions, 256x240p, 341x240p, 256x480p, 341x480p, 6 background layers 2 sprite layers 1 motion decoder layer generated from RLE encoded or JPEG like data Video out, composite and S-video Sound 16-bit stereo CD DA2 ADPCM channels at up to approximately 31.5 kHz with left, right panning 6 5-bit sample channels with left, right panning Audio out, times 2 RCA Expansion ports SCSI IO expansion slot X1 rear backup RAM FX BMP card slot X1 front 3D VPU expansion slot X1 bottom input devices FX pad 6 button 2 switch software handled gamepad controller FX MO 2 button mouse accessories FX BMP 128 kilobytes plus backup RAM card with X2 AAA batteries. FX SCSI adapter allows a PC to use the PCFX as a 2X SCSI CD-ROM. <laughs> <laughs> Topic: 